Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our third lesson on formula and variation whereby we are looking at our example number 8 which is a past case equation done in 2000, paper 2, question number 10. So the question reads that make x the subject of the formula p is equals to uh, into bracket xy divided by z plus x to the power of a half. So the first thing you are going to do is to uh, do away with the power therefore uh, for me to do away with a half I'm going to square both sides of this equation So if I square uh, this particular square is going to multiply uh, with the power then I also square uh, this other side So of course 2 and 2 uh, will cancel out so that I remain with uh, p squared uh, being equal to uh, So I'm going to have xy then of course divided by uh, z then plus x then i'm going to cross multiply so that i have uh, p squared uh, into bracket we have z then of course plus x uh, which should be equal to one multiplied by xy i'll simply get uh, xy then um, p squared times z i'll simply get uh, p squared z then i'm going to add uh, p squared x uh, p squared x is equal to xy so they want me to make x subject of the formula, therefore I'm going to combine the terms having uh, x. So that means I'm going to take uh, this term uh, to this other side because it has x. Then the term that doesn't have x, I'm going to take it to the opposite side. So I'm going to have uh, p squared x, so this will be p squared x, then of course uh, minus xy, minus xy, which should be equal to the negative of uh, p squared z the negative of p squared z now because x is common i'm going to factor it out so i'll have x then into bracket uh, if i factor out x i'm going to remain with i'll remain with p squared uh, for this particular term then here i'm going to remain with y so minus y uh, this one should be equal to the other side um, i have minus p squared then of course multiplied by z then I'll separate my working using um, a line this way. Then uh, it means that I'm remaining with, I want to divide through by uh, p squared minus y, p squared minus y. I also divide through by p squared uh, minus y so that p squared minus y will cancel out. So the value of x will actually be equal to negative uh, p squared z, negative p squared z then divided by uh, p squared, so this will be p squared, then of course minus y. Remember we can also write this one in this particular manner, if I divide through by a negative, through the uh, numerator and the denominator, the answer will be, the negative will make this one to be positive, so this one will be p squared z, then if I multiply uh, a negative through the denominator, uh, the y will be positive, uh, then uh, p squared will be negative. So this will be positive y, then of course minus uh, p squared. So either of the answers are acceptable. So either this or this particular answer uh, can be the solutions for uh, x. Then we look at our question number 9, which is also a past case equation done in 201, paper 1, question number 10. So it reads that make x subject of the formula given that s is equals to w, the root of s squared minus x squared. So to deal with this, I'm going to square both sides so that I eliminate uh, the square root that is um, on the right hand side. I also square uh, this other side. So I'm going to get, uh, of course, this will be s squared. Uh, s squared is equals to, this one means uh, that we are going to square the w. So this will be w uh, squared, then of course multiplied with the uh, the root of the root of s squared then of course minus x squared then the all of this should also be squared so uh, the square root and the square will actually cancel out so that we remain with uh, s squared being equal to w squared so this is w squared then multiplied by of course we are going to remain with uh, s squared then of course minus x squared then I'm going to open the bracket so that I have s squared being equal to, this will be w squared, so I'm going to get w squared s squared, then of course minus 
w squared uh, w squared x squared since i'm required to make x subject of the formula i'm going to take it to the left hand side so that it becomes a positive then i'll take uh, s squared to the opposite side so i'm going to have a uh, positive w uh, squared x squared being equal to w uh, squared uh, s squared so this is w squared uh, s squared then of course minus s squared minus s squared so if i want to remain with the x alone i'm going to divide through by w squared so of uh, w uh, squared i also divide through by w uh, squared so w squared and w squared will uh, cancel out so that we are going to remain with uh, so this is what we are going to remain with we are going to remain with the uh, x squared uh, being equal to uh, w squared so this is w squared uh, s squared then of course minus s uh, squared then the whole of it are uh, divided by w uh, squared so if i want to remain with the value of x alone i'm going to take square roots on both sides so i take square root on this side i also square root uh, this other side then we know that square root is always plus or minus huh? So this one simply means that we can rewrite it this way. Since we have w squared on the denominator, we can rewrite it as x is equal to uh, plus or minus. So this is the same as saying the square root of uh, w, uh, that is the numerator, w squared s squared, then of course minus s uh, squared, then divided by, for the denominator, I'm also having a w squared. So I'll also a square root uh, w squared. Of course, the square root of w squared will be w, so that means that the final answer will be x uh, is equals to plus or minus the root of, on the numerator, we are having uh, the root of w squared, so this is w uh, squared a squared, then of course minus s squared, then on the denominator, we are going to remain with w, so this will be our final answer. Then we look at our example number 10, which is also a past KCC question tested in uh, 202, paper 1, question number 3, which reads that make y subject of the formula in p is equals to xy over x minus y. So to do this, I'm simply going to uh, cross multiply so that I do away with the fraction. So this will be p uh, into, of course, x minus y. Uh, being equal to 1 times xy, I'll just get xy. So if I open the bracket, I'm going to have uh, px, then of course minus py being equal to xy. So since they want me to make y subject of the formula, I'm going to combine the terms having y. So I'll take this one to this side so that to make it positive. So that one means that px will actually be equal to uh, xy, then I'm going to add py. So I'm going to factor out y because it is uh, common. So this will be y into uh, x plus p, uh, which is equals to px. So if I want to remain with y alone, I'm going to divide through by uh, x plus p. I also divide through by uh, x plus p so that uh, x plus p uh, is actually going to cancel out. So I'm going to remain with um, my x being equal to so that is my y so it means that y will actually be equal to uh, px then of course divided by uh, x plus p which can also be rewritten as y is equals to uh, px then divided by uh, p plus x so i'll start with p then plus x so that is uh, how to make y subject of the formula then uh, we look at our example number 11, which is also a past KCC question tested in 2 or 3, paper 1, question number 3. So it reads, make C subject of the formula, given that uh, T uh, is equal to, of course, X, then we have the root of uh, C squared, then of course, plus D squared. So the first step, I'm going to square both sides so that I eliminate the square root uh, sign. So I'll square this side, I also square uh, this other side. So this one means that t squared uh, will actually be equal to x squared. Then uh, of course into brackets, the root of uh, c squared, then plus d squared, then I'm also going to square that. So I'm going to remain with uh, t squared uh, being equal to x squared, then into brackets. The square root and the square will cancel out, so I'm going to remain with c squared, then of course plus d squared. 
so this will give me uh, t squared is equals to uh, x squared times c squared i'll get x squared uh, c squared then plus uh, x squared d squared then um since they want me to make c subject of the formula i'll leave the term having c on one side alone so i'll take this other term to the other side uh, so that i'm having t squared then minus x squared uh, d squared being equal to uh, x squared uh, c squared then uh, if i separate uh, my working uh, using a line i'm going to get the following so this one is going to give me uh, x squared i can write it as x squared uh, c squared is actually equal to uh, t squared minus uh, x squared d squared so i want to remain with c alone since that is what i'm required to make subject of the formula so i'm going to divide through by x squared i also divide through by x squared so that these two can cancel out so this one means that uh, my value of c uh, c squared will actually be equal to uh, t squared then of course minus x squared d squared then divided by uh, x squared then I'll take square roots on both sides. I'll take the square root on this side and also the other side. Then the square root is always plus or minus. So this one simply means that the value of C uh, will actually be equal to plus or minus the root of. So this will be plus or minus uh, the root of uh, T squared. Uh, T squared minus X squared uh, D squared then divided by uh, X squared which can also be expressed as this can also be expressed as uh, this way so we can also express it in this manner it can be plus or minus we can take the square root on the numerator and also the denominator so that we are we'll get the following the root of uh, on the numerator we are having uh, t squared uh, t squared minus x squared uh, d squared then on the denominator we are having x squared so i'll simply take the root of uh, x uh, x squared so this is uh, going to give me the following so this one means that uh, the value of c uh, the value of c will actually be equal to uh, plus or minus the root of so this will be plus or minus the root of uh, into bracket t squared uh, t squared minus x squared uh, d squared x squared d squared then the whole thing divided by the square root of x squared i'm simply going to get uh, x or we can also give uh, this particular answer in this particular format we can also talk of c uh, being equal to plus or minus the root of i simply want to take uh, this equation here but i want to divide through uh, with the lcm that is uh, the denominator so this is the same as saying uh, t squared uh, t squared uh, divided by x squared then minus this one will be x squared uh, d squared then divided by x squared then of course you can see that uh, x squared is common so this and this will cancel out so it means that your c can also be given by plus or minus uh, the root into brackets of uh, t squared uh, t squared of uh, x squared then of course minus d squared minus d squared so either this answer or this answer or uh yeah those are the possible answers huh? you can also have this so either can give you the value of c thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson i did not take it for granted in case you are new to the channel kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll get notified so in our next class we'll be looking at further examples on formula and variation until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.